I am a complete nerd. I mean, we know that already, don't we? And in my videos, I like to mix two of my nerdy hobbies into one. The first is radio towers and transmission sites, and the second is being able to see far into the distance, and my go-to camera is the amazing Nikon P1000. It's absolutely phenomenal. Last year I featured a couple of pairs of night vision binoculars on the channel and they were really the low end of what you'd call budget. A few months back however I picked up another pair which are on the higher end of budget and I thought I'd share them with you. This is the Find NV200 from a company called One Leaf AI and they're absolutely fantastic and they're actually affordable considering the prices you can pay for night vision binoculars. First I'll give you an overview of the spec. The first points to note are the interchangeable lenses, a laser pointer, and a rangefinder. They do a 35mm, a 50mm, and a 70mm lens, which are all interchangeable like a DSLR. They unlock using this catch and screw out to reveal the sensor. The infrared light has eight different settings for illuminating at different levels, and you can adjust the focus of the light for a narrow beam or a wide beam. The IR distance is 1969 feet. The laser helps you pinpoint what you're looking at, and the optional rangefinder displays the distance of targets up to 3280 feet away. They have anti reflection multi coated Japanese Ohara lenses, and on top of whichever lens you choose, they have an additional 20 times digital zoom, which on 4K video isn't too bad. They record video in 4K at 120, 60 and 30 frames per second and take 48, 24, 12 and 8 megapixel images which are saved onto the included TF card. They have picture in picture mode which is a box that takes up 10% of the total display area allowing you to check the focus and view even closer while looking at the wider screen. They also have Sony Starvis back illuminated pixel technology on the CMOS image sensor. They can connect to any compatible monitor or display via HDMI cable for HD video streaming. And the dual monitor display feature allows you to see the live image and saved media simultaneously. They're IPX6 waterproof and the three supplied 18650 rechargeable batteries provide up to 12 hours of continuous use. They charge via USB-C. There's a tripod mount underneath and they're also supplied with a bracket that allows you to hook the binoculars up to a power bank for extended use. I ordered mine with the separate rangefinder module because I wanted to see how far away things are. This screws into place and uses contacts to communicate with the binoculars and it shows you on the screen how far away you are from the target and from what I can see it seems to be extremely accurate too. At night you can see the beam from the IR module showing you that it's working. It'll display the measurements on the screen and you can also record these into the video. In the box you get the binoculars, three rechargeable 18650 batteries, two hand straps, a shoulder strap, a USB cable, a soft storage bag, the TF card, power bank mount, allen keys and a simple user manual. On the top of the binoculars are seven simple control buttons. The center power button turns them on and off and when you press this once you activate range finding mode. On the top left is the up and down or digital zoom in and out buttons. On the bottom left is the OK button for selecting things in the menu and also activating record or photograph mode. On the top right is the IR button which when held switches between day and night mode and when pressed once turns up the IR brightness. On the middle right is the PIP or picture in picture mode button which activates when held and when pressed once it turns on the laser guide. On the bottom right is the menu button which when held allows you to view playback and saved media and there's also a reset button and a microphone. On the sides are the screw on panels which hide the battery compartments and there's also a rubber cap which reveals the SD card port, the USB charging port, a HDMI port and an earphone jack. Underneath is the tripod mount and the lens release catch. These binoculars are really easy to use. You have a lens hood which stays on during the day and unscrews for night operation. Navigating the menus, you can select the video and photo specs, turn picture in picture on and off, select the appropriate lens, change the units of measurement, change the video length, turn auto record on and off and change the LCD brightness. On the next page, you can change the exposure, 
metering and ISO sensitivity, as well as the brightness, contrast and saturation, not something I've seen on my other binoculars. You can turn the backlit buttons on or off, add or remove the date and timestamp from your footage, turn sound recording on or off, change the date format and clock settings, format the SD card, view the software information, and perform a master reset. Simple. Now let's look at some more footage. All of this was shot in auto mode at 50mm at night, with varying levels of digital zoom, if any, and different IR illumination levels. And now let's look at some daytime footage. Again, all of this was shot in 50mm in auto mode, with varying levels of digital zoom. So I hope you enjoyed this bit of a different video. I absolutely love these binoculars and find them a really useful bit of kit to have in the arsenal when scoping out radio sites and things. I can't really fault them except I wish the screen was a bit crisper when trying to focus. The final video is always much crisper than what you see on the screen. It's just a bit difficult to know if you're completely focused sometimes. Other than that, a really great bit of kit. And if you want to find out more or buy these for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below.